it gets really cold, I can do this. Then I can, yeah, do the whole thing. <clears throat> Wisconsin. Hey, how's it going? My name is Andrew and I'm doing a video. You know, every smart person or interesting person I've ever met, <laughs> the wind and the hair, um, has been quirky or just kind of goofy in some way. I think that's, uh, for the lack of a better word, normal and good and healthy that you want to be, uh, I don't know, I think we have a lot of pressure to fit in um, because humans are tribal creatures in a lot of ways. I mean, that's how we survived for a really long time. I guess I've kind of found my topic accidentally just now. Um, this really interests me though, is, is um, you know, for a really long time, before, before we, I say we, the human race, settled down and started systematically growing food, the agricultural revolution, which people, uh, historians agree is around 15,000 years ago, 15, 17, 12, something like that, 15, plus or minus 30% on everything, right? Yeah, but before that, we had to wander around in tribes and um, in bands and uh, in bands and in finding food and hunting and gathering and and uh, it was, became very important uh, when we settled down and had land property became very important and what was mine what was yours became important because you might be growing more food than I was and so that's where the concept of property came from. That's a much bigger topic than we have time for today, but um, uh, then, then became this whole idea of in-group and out-group. And then you have tribes fighting over resources and fighting over land. So, so that is still in us, you know, even though we live very much in a global community now because of this magic call it technology. It's not really magic, but it, it would have been considered magic to any other generation. And everything's changed, but we still have these impulses to tribalism, to have us versus them, in group and out group. And, you know, my friend Rox would say, hi Rox, um, that that's part of the hierarchical game, the game of like, you know, the pyramid setup where this person's above this person, and this person has power over these people. And there's this illusion that we're all really separate, and we really gotta fight in the survival of the fittest. And whoever is strongest wins and passes their genes on. And from a purely physical standpoint, that's true in a lot of ways, but from a higher perspective, that's a game. Um, that's an illusion. And I think about that a lot. Uh, you know, I had a friend on Big Island uh, named Harry, who is also one of my favorite people I've ever met. And he talked, he taught me about how there's an alternative to that. And Rox talks about this too, uh, called um, the, the circle uh, mindset. Instead of a pyramid, it's more of a, a circular way of thinking. Um, not in the way you would think. So instead of having this levels of people, this person's superior to this person, um, he told the story about how on tropical islands, because there's so much abundance, uh, so my fingers are freezing. Uh, man, I have gloves on and everything. It's cold here. And there's a short growing season here. This goes back into what I was saying. So the, the, the hierarchy, the pyramid game, is more prevalent here because you have to be organized and growing and, 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 and use your growing season to the fullest extent. But in tropical places, you know, sometimes a bunch of coconuts will just wash up on shore. And that completely affects the society and the cultural structure. Um, where it's it's less hierarchical, there's more of a sense of abundance, and and that we're all the same. And that's what I want to leave with you today. Is it's from one from one level of consciousness, it's really easy uh, to go. This person is separate from me. Um, 
but when you're up there, if any of us ever get a ticket to the moon <laughs> or up to a space station, because commercial space is happening eventually, um, but even if you don't, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're up there and you look down at the planet, you look at these photos, there's no borders, there's no states, it's one thing. We are one people. And the sooner we start acting like it, the sooner we can create the paradise and the abundance and the global happiness that, that so many of us are imagining. It can happen, but we have to make a mindset shift.